my channel just reached 10,000 subscribers. That's, uh, I still can't believe that number. It's just bonkers. Anyway, with this video, I want to thank all of you fellow tech enthusiasts out there for making this possible. I actually had to look it up how 10,000 people looks like in one place. And I must say, if this was a face to face event, it's definitely big enough to make my heart race. But since tech events are smaller than that, and I'm blessed with complete and utter lack of musical talent, I will never have to worry about that. Uh, jokes aside, so when I started this channel, I never ever thought I would get here, honestly. Sure, I knew that there are YouTube channels with 100 or 1000 times more subscribers, but there's only a limited number of enterprise technology enthusiasts in the world. So that's why I'm so humbled that 10,000 of you found your way to this channel and felt that I can deliver quality with consistency that's worth subscribing to. I also thank you for all the likes and supportive comments. But most importantly, I thank you for sharing my passion for technology and believing with me that enterprise technology doesn't have to be boring and complex, but simple, exciting and limitless. So with this video, I want to let you into the journey that led me here. And I'll also give you a chance to take a driver's seat at the end of the video and decide what you would like to see next. So stick around until the end. So how did I get here? Well, let's actually roll back to Finland in 1985. No, it wasn't tough. It was actually, actually easy. I was just six years old, just about to start elementary school. Somehow I managed to convince my parents that the Commodore 64 would be the perfect birthday present. And actually, I was fortunate enough to actually get it. After getting my hands on it, I knew on the spot that those great outdoor times were history. I am a tech guy. So thank you, mom and dad. Everything that followed is because of you. <laughs> Quite quickly, I actually got fascinated by programming. We went regularly to geek parties like Assembly and coded a few computer games with my friend Isko Lappalainen. Isko, if you're watching, that XCraft cave flying game will be published one day, somewhere. Mark my words. Fast forward to year 1998, when I took the obvious path to studying information technology and computer sciences at the University of Turku in Finland. After which I started my career in IT as a developer and architect. In the early 2000s, I worked for Nokia and a local software development company here in Turku called Sofocus. By the way, greetings to Teemu Malinen, the founder. 2007 was a big year in my career. That's when I delivered my very first training. It was a technical training about HP ProLiant servers. And it went awesome. The feedback I got after the training was, well, at least you managed to stand on your feet the whole time. <laughs> Seriously, the whole thing is a big blur since I was just too busy crapping myself. <laughs> Once again, apologies to everyone who Antti Hemminki, my mentor at the time, forced to participate in that one. Those hours you will never get back. <laughs> oh well, bygones. I still liked it. And over the years I picked up the pace and in 2013 I started my own company called Devil Apps. Nope, it has nothing to do with devils or apps. We continue to deliver trainings all over the globe, but we also wanted to add something tangible to the boring theory-focused trainings. So we decided to create something awesome, an in-house developed web portal for demoing hardware management remotely. Hence the name DeviLabs for Demonstrative Virtual Labs. So we had our own data center with tons of HP gear and the web portal through which you could access all that gear from wherever. 
It not only took our own trainings to the next level, but also allowed dozens of customers to test drive HP solutions. By the way, big thanks to Mikko Alajakkola for building the infrastructure and Ruben Diaz for coding the platform. It was really fun times. But times evolve and in 2019 I decided to take a different direction and start my YouTube channel. It all started as a hobby that combines my passion for both videos and enterprise technologies. I had absolutely no expectations or goals in the beginning. I just thought it would be fun <laughs> to make some videos. To my surprise, right after publishing the first four videos, a few dozen familiar colleagues and friends subscribed to my channel, and some of them even clicked the like button. This was big for me. It was actually huge for me. Thank you to all my early subscribers. You know who you are. You mean actually more to me and my channel than you know. The next big one for me was at 67 subscribers. That's when I got an email from HPE that they would like to invite me to HPE Discover in Las Vegas as a HPE influencer. All expenses covered and everything taken care of. Wait, what? Like, seriously, what? It was mid-May 2019, about one and a half months after I posted my first videos on my channel. At that time I had a whopping five videos online and just a few dozen subscribers at that point. And HPE is inviting me to this famous mega event that has been my dream for years. Surreal. Just surreal. When I entered the Venetian hotel complex on the 17th of June 2019, I had barely 100 subscribers, while all other influencers there had thousands or tens of thousands of followers. I would know, because I was following most of them myself. I even got to meet some HPE board members. This was a turning point in my career. Everything changed for me. And the thank you belongs to Calvin Zito and Laura Mackey for believing in me. But. After Discover, and really throughout the whole 2020, it was rough times for me. I had dropped most classroom trainings and shifted focus on YouTube. Then the pandemic lockdowns made sure that all of the remaining face-to-face -face trainings were also cancelled. While all my 700 subscribers were very dear to me, my channel was still very much a hobby for me. So something needed to be done, and I decided to put all my energy on something that I had already been experimenting with HPE Finland. Lightboarding Live webinars. Lightboarding Lives were basically 60-minute webinars over Zoom or Teams without a single slide, but just a lightboarding story of a certain topic. Live, with Q&A at the end. I ended up delivering dozens of Lightboarding Lives of various topics with HPE, VMware, Aruba and NVIDIA throughout 2020 and 2021, and the overall feedback was through the roof. That experience encouraged me to make even more lightboarding-based videos also on my YouTube channel in 2021 and 2022. Thank yous go to HPE Finland and especially Ari Saarex, the chief technologist of HPE Finland, for taking the leap of faith with me and with the very first lightboarding live sessions. In 2021, I also felt that the company has changed so much from the early days that the original name Devilabs didn't quite reflect what I was doing anymore. So I decided to name the company after myself. <laughs> and so the deck enthusiast was born. And here we are today. More than 400,000 total views on my videos, over 10,000 subscribers. Still can't believe that. Once more, I want to thank you all who have subscribed, liked the videos, and made my day with your supportive comments. And now, as promised, I would like you to decide the topic for my next video in the comments down below. I will gather all comments until the Christmas time this year and make a video about the most proposed topic. As long as it's legal, non-offensive and around enterprise tech, that is. Hopefully I get the video released somewhere in the beginning of 2023. Stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching and see you with the video of your choice.